Today we're going to try and crack a very generic password. Let's dig in. I'm going to create a file called the Cybersecurity Girls with some very secret content there. I'm going to make sure that it is password protected. There we go. And then I'm going to open my Kali Linux. And I'm going to make sure that my file is on there. And I'm going to try and open it just to make sure that it is password protected. There you go, I can't. So you may say, well, that's great. If I ever lose my phone, my secret photos are protected via password. Well, that's not the case. We're going to use something called John the Ripper, which is a free software that comes when you download Kali Linux, which is also free. What John the Ripper does is it compares the hashed or the encrypted or the scrambled version of the passwords. If they're very generic, it will find them on something called a word list. The word list contains the most generic passwords in the world, basically. Let's see if it's going to do it this time. So I'm going to hash the password, then I'm going to open it using the cat command, which is my favorite, and then I'm going to run John. And look at that, it cracked it in less than one second and my password is password one. Let's see if it works. Well, it did. So now you can see the secret content on another machine, which is quite scary. And what can you do though? Make sure that your passwords are nothing but generic. Make sure to use numbers, letters, special characters, and make sure that your passwords are very, very long. And if you can, use a password manager and a password generator tool. And follow the cybersecurity girls for more tips on how to stay safe in the digital space. See ya!